What's up everybody? We are gonna go over some paint correction tips today. Uh, I'm sure you're all stuck at home uh, with coronavirus bullshit and your business is probably kind of slow like mine is, not afraid to admit it. Uh, so I'm gonna go over some pet peeves of mine today, uh, which is door handles. Most detailers who claim to be professionals cannot correct around a door handle for shit. And I always see tons of defects. So I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, properly correct around door handles uh, with three different tools here. I've got my six inch uh, Mark 221 from Roops. I'm gonna use my three inch from Roops and also the Ibrit. So uh, you might find yourself in a situation uh, like I used to when I was younger where I only had this polisher. So I am going carefully around the door handles uh, angling the polisher using the edge of that pad to get as close to the door handle uh, as possible. So some shops take door handles off. I will if people pay me to, but generally I don't. Uh, and so it can be a pain in the ass. So you're gonna just carefully go around the door just using the edge of that pad. And don't be afraid, you might smack the door handle a little bit with the edge of your pad, but it's just gonna leave some adhesive looking crap on there that's gonna come off later. So don't worry if it accidentally happens. Just make sure you keep that pad spinning. Something like this can really make a car look that much cleaner when you deliver it to the customer, uh, especially because I have noticed that in a lot of cases, the, whatever side of the car the sun is on, uh, usually you'll get some reflection off of the door handle area. You know, everybody notices all the scratches in the actual door cup. You can see the swirls and defects around the actual handle uh, with if you don't get around it. So I just went around and cut. Uh, you won't really get much out with just foam on door handles, even though I do a lot of one steps. Uh, it does not work that great with the door handles. So first step, compound and microfiber pad like you saw before. And now I've got my uh, yellow foam cutting pad, which I'm going over with Shine Supply's classic polish to kind of refine things. Uh, because this being a Toyota, uh, the, it was a uh, compound was sticking to the paint. So I had to use polish so I could check my work uh, because I couldn't see anything underneath all the haze. So now I've got the three inch uh, Rupes machine here. Uh, I've got it on about speed four. And I'm kind of doing the same thing, just using the edge, uh, trying to get as close as possible. With this tool, it is a little bit easier because the throw is a little smaller. And also the tool itself is a little bit smaller too. So it makes it a little bit easier to get there. And this thing actually does have fair cutting ability as well. So this can still be just as efficient as using the 21. Uh, so if you have the smaller tool, you should generally grab the smaller tool. It is always better to use the right tools to do the job. So once you've cut it, we're gonna go ahead again and polish it with the foam pad. It is harder to keep foam spinning on some of these machines sometimes, especially the small ones, and especially going around the door handle. So just do your best to keep the pad spinning while you're getting it as close as possible. But usually, even if you just barely brush against uh, where the edges, wherever you need to get, usually you'll end up cleaning up that DA haze that was left by the microfiber. And last but not least, got the hybrid so of course this one is super easy to get close to shit with oh the battery died had to go and get another one i don't know why i included that clip in here but whatever uh so now a little bit once again easier to get closer because there's less bulkiness around the machine so you can really get that pad right up in there and you can actually get the hybrid a little bit further into the door cups as well you also won't have to lift the pad off of the surface really because you won't have to there'll be some spots like right around those little edges where you're going to want to angle the pad but for the most part you can do uh, around the door handle with the hybrid without having to have the pad leave the paint so you should include doing this in your work, uh, especially if you are 
a professional detailer charging money for this. This is a huge pet peeve of mine. Uh, someone a long time ago taught me this, and as soon as I learned that, that became like my my thing was doing door handles well, because uh, we all need to find stuff that uh, we do differently than other detailers do. So this was our thing is that we would correct the door around the door handles perfectly. So you can see here, nice and clean, no big swirls or defects. It's looking pretty good. A little bit of product right there. I didn't get wiped off totally. For the most part, 100%. So again, this is one of my pet peeves. It's not that hard to clean around them. So take what you learned today and put it forward in your business or at-home practice. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll be putting out some more paint correction videos coming up soon. Uh, stay safe during the coronavirus crap, and uh, hopefully things will return to normal soon. Thank you for watching, and we will catch you next time.